See, looking at stuff like this, like with those rocks under the water and stuff, makes me really excited about Guild Wars 2 because we can actually swim. That's one of the first places I'm going to start swimming. One of the first. Because, of course, this is the lake, I think, anyway, or maybe it's this lake, that uh, Divinity's Reach um, gets built by. So, actually, yes, I think it is this second lake. I think it is this one. But in any case, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about going in them. Alright, there's the settlement. Nice little windmill up there. Some guards. Hopefully people will stop being so pessimistic now. Hello Grey Wind, we've sorted out your problem. You found the source of our scale problem then? That's good news, good news indeed. What are you going to give me? Nothing that I want. Thanks anyway. Alright, uh, welcome to the settlement. What can I do? Blankets for the settlers. I have arranged to open trade with a Nibu village to the west. They are renowned for their weaving, and my people here are short on many cloth goods, such as blankets. Their village has, of late, been subject to numerous predations by bandits, and while we cannot spare our guards, our passage across the mountains was... Wait, what? Yeah, our passage across the mountains, sorry, was costly enough that we do have weapons to spare. Can you take this stash of weapons and trade them to Ethan the Artisan in the village? Yeah. I don't think it's too far away, so... We've not been there yet. But it's a cool little village with a couple of quests there. See you again in a minute. Right, so... This is the other side of the settlement. And I think, yeah, there we go, there's a sign. I remember seeing it earlier. We're going to the village, which is a little bit deeper into Kryta. The village is in an explorable area called Nibu Terrace. It's just through this little valley here. There we go, Nibu Terrace. And it's just up ahead on this field. As you can see, more Tengu around friendly things. Oh look, a statue of Duena. I don't remember that being there. Pretty cool. Now there's something you can do in this game that I haven't done yet and I might as well show you. Uh, in the world there's these statues and while and sometimes they'll sort of be glowing and stood up like this because the gods have given the world favour. Uh, and we'll explain more of that later, but pretty much when they're up like this, if you kneel to them, I hope this works. If you kneel and sort of show your respects, yeah, uh, the avatar of that god will come to you. So this is the avatar of Duena, and she's like this beautiful woman with wings. This isn't actually the god themselves, but they're someone you can talk to. And when you do talk to them, countless are the blessings of Duena. Do you dedicate this offering to one in particular? and you can pay them money and they'll give you certain bonuses so if I say yes to conquest and give her 50 gold she'll give me this uh, blessing, the holy blessing and it gives me more health and it gives me health regeneration so whenever I take damage it's always recharging which is pretty cool and if I pay to courage she'll get rid of all of my death penalty and uh, give me a morale boost depending on how many times I do it each god has a different avatar and all the different avatars give you different things So. There's a scriptures which we read before. If you're interested in them, they're in like the uh, I can't remember the episode number, but it's called Fallen Temple, I think. Anyway, here's the village. Just over this hill. Looks safe enough. No one's around. Nothing trying to kill me. Nibu Terrace. Does that tell me anything if I click it? No. There's the emblem of the white mantle again. So, this is just a little trading thing, is it? Belden the Blade Collector, what's he give me? Nothing I want. Uh, who's here? Hello, anybody home? Wait, is this actually the village? Yeah, it is, but it's not the village proper. 
Let's go through these arches. Ah, there's some more villagers just up here. There's Ethan, that's the guy we wanted to talk to. Ethan, we have a stash of weapons for you. In this box. Militia weapon. Hey, hero, I'm Ethan the Weaver. Can I interest you in some of my handmade linen? It's totally organic. What's on your mind? Blankets for the settlers. Ah, yes, I've been expecting you. I hope this is the beginning of a, m of a much fruitful trade between the, between the Ascalon settlement and our village. Sorry, I'm reading really poorly today. I'm very tired. Alright, so that's that done. I think we just have to go speak to Greywind and give him the blankets. Yep. Uh, what does Elder Sobel have to say? Ma, you gave me a fright. I thought, we were, I thought you were another bandit. Our little village has seen more of its sh than its share of brigands of late. But you look like a good sort. What, what can I help you with? Nothing. But I guess she's like... Elder Sobel. That makes her kind of sound like the leader, doesn't it? Anyway, this guy's got something to say. Inspector Caleb. Hello. I have a matter that I need some discreet help with. Three days ago, in the Bergen Hot Springs, two, me two members of the Lion Guard were brutally slain. Initial evidence suggests that it was the work of the Shining Blade. Remember, they were mentioned earlier, but we don't quite know who they are. Uh, I guess they're just kind of these evil people that are killing Crichtons and stuff. Uh, but something strange is going on. There were four witnesses, but none of them would speak with me when I interviewed them. I believe that at least one of them might be willing to talk to someone who is a little less official, an outsider, so to speak. I would be grateful if you would travel to Bergen, hot, to Bergen and obtain written testimonies from the four witnesses. Will you help me? Yeah, sure, you're going to give me some cool skills for that, so I would be glad to help. So, some of the line guard, people that guard Lion's Arch, yeah, have been killed by potentially the Shining Blade. So, where's Bergen Hot Springs? The Hot Springs Murders, this is called. Oh, it's just down there, just kind of near where we came from. Now, uh, that's another outpost, and it's pretty cool, so... We'll go there before we speak to Captain Greywind, otherwise we're going to have to keep running back on ourselves and stuff. And who wants to do that? Ha, huh, looks like the sun's setting. Lots of Tengo out on the road ahead. Hopefully I can sneak past without getting too much of their attention. Oh no, I've got to walk past these ones. I don't think these guys slow us down though, so we should be alright. Just running on by. Should be alright. I say that now, but we're about to get owned, I can tell. Just leave it out, leave me alone. Alright, okay, they ran back. Easy enough. Where are we going? Further along the road. Past more Tengu. Let's go! Alright, that's those done. We're in undead territory, it looks like. Lots of undead running around. There's a horseman up there. See, so, horses in this game are a little bit debatable because a lot. you can't actually find normal horses, so some people believe that they don't exist in this world. But you've got a horseman there who's on an undead horse. Now whether that means that horses actually exist is totally up to you. I personally think it does. We just don't see them in the story. So, Alright, here's the hot springs. Very cool little outpost. Just out of the way. You don't have to come here for the main plot. You can just sit back and relax in the steaming tubs. And look, lots of people here as well. Check it out. I think, at least I think you can go in. You can't go in that one. Oh, uh, who are we speaking to? Uh, obtain a written testimony from Andar de Leod. This this guy right that we just ran past. Why are you speaking to me? Away with you. Oh, you're friendly. What can I do to be rid of you? Why would I speak with someone like you? This is a Crichton matter, and I'll not speak to a foreigner about it. You can deliver that message to your Inspector Caleb if you'd like. Oh. Friendly guy. Who are we speaking to next? 
Uh, Daniel Smith. Oh, there's a herald here. I wonder if he can tell us anything. The Temple of the Ages is an old Crichton holy site from before the time when the White Mantle and their unseen gods came to our land. It stands at the edge of an ancient funeral launch where the, where the dead were less to re, re, laid to rest a long time ago. Few venture that far into the swamp anymore. Those who do have, have seen the dead march defiling the sacred waters. Now though, even greater terrors arise. This is not an adventure for the weak or the cowardly. Head to the west from here. If you make it to the swamp, look north for the Temple of the Aegis. Chances are you'll find allies there, perhaps ones even strong enough to defeat the new evil. Interesting. Temple of the Aegis is a very cool place. Very, very cool place, should I say. Uh, we're not going to be going there for quite a while, though. But this is quite interesting. I didn't know this guy said this. So, it's kind of... It's surrounded by undead. And it's like one of the end game places, I guess you could say. Lots of people. Oh, there's armor and stuff here. Do you guys sell higher armor? Armor 59. Yes. Oh, this is more like. Ah, but they don't sell any new types. Oh, that's stronger than what I've got at the moment, though. But I'm, I'm not going to change unless I get into a lot of trouble. What about the weapon guy? Does he sell anything nice? Certainly got some nice stuff out. Weapons. Oh, he only customizes for us. Oh well. But yes, there's some stronger armor here. Hmm, I may go to that at some point and take advantage of it. Uh, sorry, who are we speaking to? This is Daniel Smith. 